Blade Runner 2049 impressions. We just finished Blade Runner 2049. It's raining outside, which is oddly appropriate. I'm not quite sure what to think yet. I'm still kind of processing it. Um, we're gonna go grab some food and hopefully talk about the movie there. So I got to sleep on it and I finally have an opinion on Blade Runner 2049. Normally I come out of a movie, like there will be certain things that are like, may artificially inflate my score or lower it depending on, you know, a lot of things. But with the, the original Blade Runner being so close to me, I'm like, I really want to sit and, you know, digest this movie and think about it. The original Blade Runner, I, I love the movie. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. But it is flawed, and this movie, like, what worked with the original Blade Runner, it took and tried to expand upon it or look at it in a different way. You know, it moved the, the plot in an interesting way, uh, manner. And the themes itself, like, it continued the theme, so there's a, there's treading some familiar ground, but in trying to look at the themes in a, a different way um, was interesting, but there were a couple of times I think was maybe a bit too dense or asked in such a way that it's just like, no, I think you need a different examination of this. And this is maybe not enough time or characters to really like explore this theme. Let's see, um, what else to talk about it? Like the cinematography, the general look of the movie is phenomenal. Like this is the benchmark that I'm going to hold all movies up to. Like I'm a huge Roger Deakin fanboy, so this is not really a news to anyone, um, but it's just like on a scale of one to Blade Runner 2049, how does it look? And that's the scale now. Uh, the, the reason I guess I'm so, particular about this is not not necessarily just because I love it and I'm usually I am more critical of things I enjoy just because I feel it's worth the time to be critical of it and find out how it can be improved or examined and things like that is they also did like three shorts um, that took place before the movie and for me uh, I become a lot more critical, uh, I, a lot more particular in that sense where at this point you're telling the audience, you're not showing the audience. And it's just like what you kept in the movie, is it worth 
having removed those parts from the story to kind of provide more clarity. And in that regard, I'm not sure they really pulled it off. Uh, first off, the movie is really long. It's nearly three hours long. And like, I know that's part of the Blade Runner experience of like kind of feeling the world, like the atmosphere. Um, but there's like at least two points that I remember where they basically do like a recap of kind of what's happened so far to kind of clarify where you are in the plot. And I'm not sure if that was done maybe because it's a really long movie and people would be leaving for bathroom breaks. But it's just like, could you have foregone these particular pieces to fill in with like the shorts? Like the music, um, really good. Um, I don't think it's nearly as good as uh, Vangelis, but that's like a, that's a tall order, right? You, you have to live up to this like 30 year old cult classic it has to sound similar to the original, but still be its own thing. Like that's, everyone has this incredibly high expectations. I, I don't think it's possible to meet. So, you know, I, I think it, it worked well for the movie. Like I, I felt the cast was really good throughout. I didn't really care for Jared Leto's character. And that's not necessarily an issue with his performance. I, I just feel that the character itself could have been expanded upon and just didn't really get enough time to provide like proper motivation. It's enough where you're like, okay, I get it, but I'm not, it's not compelling. But yeah, Ryan Gosling, Harrison Ford, good job. And like everyone was good, everyone was good. It felt like a, a proper film. Like this was a film made by people who love the original Blade Runner and it showed. Um, uh, Denis, Denis Velvenu, I'm, I'm probably butchering that. I'm totally butchering that. Like, he's an amazing director. I think he did really good work. Um, like, yeah, I would highly recommend the, I highly recommend the movie. Um, check it out. It's, it's worth checking out in theaters. Probably not gonna be super packed. Uh, last I heard the movie is not doing nearly as well as expected. Um, we were kind of joking yesterday that we were gonna check in on Monday and like My Little Pony would have crushed it in theaters. Yeah, that's my Blade Runner 2049 impressions. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, thank you.